Hey guys, what's happening? This is Dane Stevers here with a uh, pretty cool tutorial. Honestly, I think uh, this tutorial is probably gonna um, rock your world, I think. Because uh, it rocked mine when I, uh, when I figured out this technique. So basically, we're gonna be talking about uh, creating a shaky cam look inside of After Effects. And one of the problems in uh, After Effects is that the camera can feel a little rigid a lot of the times, a little bit too stiff, a little too, uh, you know, digital. So I'm always looking for ways to try and make my camera look, uh, look and feel a lot more natural. And uh, I remember a few years ago, uh, I was doing an Andrew Kramer tutorial, uh, which I did a lot of when I was starting out. Um, he was a huge help to me. And he showed me a pretty cool technique um, that was wiggling the camera on the position. And uh, if you're not familiar with that, we'll just go over that real quick. So uh, what I've got here is this little scene um, of a camera uh, flying through some squares here. So it's just a camera flying through squares in space right here. Um, just to show you the technique, uh, not for aesthetic reasons, as you can clearly see. Um, so uh, our camera's just pushing through space here. And uh, Andrew uh, showed me this awesome technique uh, that uh, is you apply a an expression to the position here and to an, apply an expression you hold alt and click on the stopwatch uh, for the position here and that's going to bring up your expressions dialog here and in there you're going to write wiggle if I can spell wiggle open parentheses and I'm gonna put 2 comma 80 and I'll, I'll talk about what these numbers mean in a second here, but I'll just show you what it does first. Okay, so now if I hit render here, you'll notice that our camera move that was just flying perfectly uh, straight through space is now um, kind of rocking all over the place here. It looks kind of like an earthquake's happening or something. Um, and uh, I remember figuring out this technique and I was like, oh my gosh, like my camera does not have to be boring ever again. And uh, I was so stoked to find this technique. But I still, over time, I, I got to think like, it, there's something that doesn't look quite natural about this. And uh, I figured out what it was, and it's the problem that I had with this um, technique of wiggling the position here was that it didn't create any sort of rocking motion to the camera. Like I would expect the camera to be rocking and rotating and uh, kind of tilting around, but instead it's kind of it's it's kind of locked off. So you see these these um, these lines here stay parallel uh, throughout the whole shot. They don't they don't rotate at all. So I came up with this uh, idea, and I'm sure I'm not the only one, but I, I just happened across it by chance. Um, I'm going to turn off this expression right now, and I'll show you guys uh, what I found. Uh, so if I hold Alt and click on Orientation. Uh, we're going to do the same type of expression. I'm going to type in wiggle. I'm going to do a different number. It's got to be smaller this time. I'll go like 2, comma 2. And close parentheses and then go. And uh, so what this does is, unlike wiggling the position, it actually rotates the camera along all three of its axes. Um, so uh, rather than trying to explain it, I'll just give it a render and show you guys uh, the difference here. So the difference is a little bit subtle. Maybe it looks pretty similar to the other one, but uh, upon closer inspection, you'll actually notice that these lines are no longer parallel with the composition here. And that's because our camera is rotating along uh, the rotation axis rather than just moving along uh, the position axis in space here. Um, if I, I'll, I'll go over the numbers now and what this means. So there's two numbers in a wiggle expression. The first number here is how um, many times it wiggles in a second. So right now I having, having, I'm having it wiggle two times per second. And then the second number here is the amount of the wiggle. So it's wiggling two times a second and it's wiggling two degrees. Because uh, we're talking about the orientation which is in, as you can see in these numbers right here, is in degrees. So it's wiggling two times a second, and it's wiggling two degrees. Um, I can make it wiggle, uh, why don't we make it wiggle like five degrees? This is probably gonna be too much, um, but just to, just to show you uh, what's happening with this whoa there. Uh, this looks like the Blair Witch Project or something. Um, 
so you can see now uh, now the degree to which um, it's rotating uh, is a little bit uh, more intense. We can undo that. We'll put that back to two, and maybe now we'll put this to five times a second. So now the speed, uh, it's going to be wiggling five times a second. Wow. So let's check that out. OK, so now there's smaller bumps, but they're happening quicker. And uh, so those are, those are how those two numbers work there. And um, there you go. Uh, uh, another thing you might want to do is you might actually want to combine um, you might want to combine a wiggle on the orientation with a uh, wiggle on the position. I'm going to re-enable the expression on the position there. Uh, this can get out of control pretty quickly, so um, I, <laughs> I urge you to use with caution. Um, but So now we're actually uh, moving the camera around. It's wiggling in space, and then the camera itself is actually wiggling on its own um, uh, rotational axes. And uh, so there you go, guys. That I hope uh, I hope that's really helpful for you. Um, uh, it it really adds a lot more life to uh, your projects to have a little bit of wiggle on the camera. Sometimes um, I I'll, I'll, I'll even just do it real slow and subtle, almost uh, almost so you can't even see it. Um, maybe I'll do it like 0.2 times per second at um, and 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 leave it like two degrees there. So let's check this out. I also uh, stretched out the time here, so it's taking a little bit longer. So here it might even be a little bit hard to even see that it's wiggling, and that's fine with me because I you can still feel it. You can still feel that it's wiggling. A lot of times effects don't need to be like they don't need to be shouting at you to like, hey, I'm I'm wiggling. It just uh, it can be a little bit subtle like this, and. Um, so I use this all the time. Uh, this is one of my secret tricks. Uh, and I hope it helps you guys. I hope it uh, rocks your projects and uh, rocks your world, basically. Um, so anyways, uh, my name is Dan Stevers. Thanks a lot, guys. See you next time.